Picking back up with the second part of our lesson here are two step equations. All the way since lesson three and four, the beginning of our book, we have solved one step equations in which we found a missing number in addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division problems. In this lesson, we're going to begin solving two step equations in which more than one operation is involved. So looking at example four, we have our sample equation, three n minus one equals 20. So let's get this set up on the board here. Now, in, uh, in your book, they've kind of, um, they've explained this step kind of, but they haven't shown any work for it. So I do want you to, to show the work for this step that we're going to go over. So 3n minus 1 equals 20. So to get 20, we're subtracting 1 from the product of 3 and n. To get rid of the 1, we are going to add 1 to both sides of our equation. Now remember, our equal sign indicates that both sides of our equation are exactly equal. So our main rule of equations is whatever is done to one side must be done to the other so that they can remain equal. So we can set up a problem like this, 3n, subtraction first, 3n minus 1 plus 1 equals 20 plus 1. And we can do our math. Uh, minus 1 plus 1 cancels out. 20 plus 1 is 21. So that leaves us with 3n equals 21. And then we follow the same step that we have been doing all along. And we'll subtract 3 from both sides to isolate n. 3n divided by 3, we simply cancel out the 3, leaving us with n. 21 divided by 3 is 7, so that leaves us with n equals 7. And we can um, check our problem by um, putting our, our numbers back into it. We could put it into our original problem, replace uh, n with 7, so then we would have something like uh, 3 times 7 minus 1 equals 20, uh, equals 20, so 3 times 7 equals 21, 21 minus 1 equals 20. So our problem would, uh, would come out correctly. So uh, that's all the steps that we're doing here. Um, you're going to have some of these problems in uh, your practice, and uh, you might have some in your, in your other homework as well. So uh, just remember when we're doing this, all we have to do is perform the opposite operation in order to get rid of our extra number. If they are adding a number, uh, then we need to subtract it from both sides. If they're subtracting a number like with this one, then we add the same number to both sides and then we perform our problem as usual. So if you have any questions, make sure that you let me know and uh, I'm always available for, uh, for questions and I am here to help. Have a great rest of your day.